Okay, we're out to tuck this uh, big silky oak into a bedside table. I'm just going to be turning it around to start with. It's mainly going to be using two chisels. The Continental roughing gouge. It's got a dirty big steel handle uh, and epoxied into place after it's been crushed. And a standard roughing gouge. I use this more when it's uh, perfectly round. This one when we're getting it too round. And uh, when we do the edges to get them to the right size, I'll be using this beast, a beautiful bowl gouge. All sharp, ready to go. Starting with this one. So let's see how we go. I've got the speed set at 200. So. Uh, Wish me luck. It's bigger in the middle, so I'll start there. Good to see some ant damage there. We'll see how it all goes. But we're getting there. Need to move the rest in a bit. Briefly, that was at 200. Just taking it up a bit at 240. Okay, take some more off. Crank it up a little bit more. Three sixty. Have a 
Looking nice. Getting close to round at that end. This end needs a bit more taken off. To get it down to round. So I'll just go to the normal roughing gouge now and see how we go. And out, speed 460. Beautiful. Still a fair bit to come off to get rid of that. Uh, let's go from here and try and get rid of it, huh? Using a side video, and uh, we'll just turn him round and uh, it will be sanded smooth, etc. I'll probably take a little bit more down here. Uh, well, mind you, that's where the, the table will finish just there anyway. But I'll take this curve down a bit further to go around the corner. Um, about 350 diameter, it'll finish down here. Up here, I didn't get the 500. Uh, I'll probably finish with about 420. But there was just too much dead wood amongst it. In fact, uh, if I just roll around here, there's still some dead wood there. I'll just debate whether it's good enough to leave because uh, it's actually sap wood and uh, but it is really soft just in there we'll see how it all goes uh, but otherwise yeah it, it's it's looking pretty good